in graduate school, I was a physical chemist, um, basically working in a basement lab without any windows. And I just finally realized that that's not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, that I really love the chemistry, but I wanted to be able to apply it to the real world. My name is Katie Purvis Roberts. I'm a professor of chemistry and environmental science here at the Keck Science Department. It's a department shared by Claremont McKenna, Pitzer, and Scripps Colleges, and I've been here for about 17 years now. The picture up here is actually my team from the State Department. So during the 2016-2017 school year, I was a Jefferson Science Fellow at the U.S. Department of State. And it was an amazing experience. Uh, I was in the Bureau of East Asian and Pacific Affairs. What we focused on in that office was the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APEC. And that's 21 different member economies all across the Asia um, Pacific region. So as part of that, I went to several meetings on energy efficiency, um, just energy in general, and looking at renewable energy. And what I realized is that you know, people had a lot of work on their plate that they were doing and they didn't always have time to do the data analysis or data gathering that they needed to make sound energy policy. And so what we came up with this idea of developing a network of APEC universities where students could you know, be in these problem solving classes. So phenyls are um, benzene rings with hydroxyls off the side, right? And so a lot of the derivatives of phenols are actually are, are um, insecticides and pesticides. So I started this um, network last year with um, a colleague at the University of Kabangsan, Malaysia, and our classes you know, worked together. We had um, six different projects going on throughout the semester on a range of topics from looking at using ethanol or biodiesel um, and gasoline for better air quality in Kuala Lumpur versus Los Angeles. We also looked at renewable energy um, infiltration in the United States versus Malaysia, and just a whole range of different topics. I think it was kind of a you know, group project on steroids in a way. Um, you know, students sometimes complain about doing these group projects, which I think are very important because when you go out into the real world, you're going to have to do them. And not only that, but you're going to you know, have to increasingly work with people across the world. About halfway through the semester, my colleague in Malaysia and I realized that the students were working on very high-level projects that could potentially be published in peer-reviewed journals. And so we wanted to encourage them to continue to work on that together. And I had five students traveling to Malaysia after the semester was done. And it was great because you know, just the first time that the students actually met their collaborators in person, I mean, it was like they were meeting old friends because they had been in contact with them throughout the semester. So as a professor, the reason why I'm at the Claremont Colleges is because I like to really interact with students closely, whether it be in the research lab or on these international projects. And I really want to help them to be able to see that the world is a lot bigger than just you know, a beaker or an Erlenmeyer flask of chemistry. You know, I want them to see how the chemistry that they've learned can actually apply to bigger problems that need to be solved around the world.